Good afternoon, good evening, good morning, whatever time you might be watching this. I am going to show you today how to set up the Soundwave interactive soundboard. First you're going to download the file for it from the site. I will put the link in the description for you. Once you have that, you will see this icon on the desktop. If you do not see that, go to where you downloaded it. It's usually in your downloads folder or documents wherever you downloaded it. Then we want to double click this icon. Once it opens up, you're going to want to click on login. It's going to open up another window, which is going to ask you to log in to Beam to authorize it. So go ahead and do that. Okay, once you have it opened, it's going to look like this. Um, before we get started, I would just like to thank um, the creator of Soundweight Interactive Soundboard. Here are his links if you ever want to go to them. Here's Twitter, Discord, GitHub, and PayPal. If you have any kind of error or question, please contact him. And you can contact him here on Twitter. It's Derek Jensen, I hope I said that right, at DeakyJ. Um, he's a great guy. I'm sure if you send him a message, he'd be more than happy to help you. Okay? So, now that we've got that, that out of the way. Um, so, where you start is down here. You want to add a profile. So, you can add more than one. I don't currently know how many you can. Uh, if you can do 10 or, or as many as you want. I don't know. Um, but let's just start with one here. So, let's say you wanted one for like Minecraft. We'll save that one, and then let's say we we wanted one for, um, I don't know, Super Mario. Okay, so each one of those is a different profile. So once you click on that, it's going to bring up the board here above with the 15 buttons, okay? Um, then on the left here, what you want to do is click on the plus sign to add a sound. So I'm just going to pick this first one I have here. Just click open. It's going to put here. Now, you can drag this to any one of these. You can drag it to this one. You can drag it to this one. You can drag it to all of them, honestly, if you wanted to. Now, um, say, okay, well, I'm done with this one. Now I want to go to the other one. You just click on it. It's then started over. Okay? So, once you're on here, then you just add all the ones that you want. Drag them over. Um this is so much easier than the other one so this is really straightforward guys um, if you click on each one okay so once you click on it um, you can see it has all the options here if you click on it, it doesn't bring this box up just click down here or drag the sound here to edit it you can also drag the sounds here to delete them uh, same with the profiles you can drag them down here if you want to just delete them um, so you can change the name if you want for these, like I could just do Bar Crowd, um, you know, the Sparks, you can change the Sparks, um, the cooldown, you could do 10, whatever you want. Okay, um, then you can also pull the volume down, test it out. Drag it down further, play it. That's a little bit better. Then you just click save. Okay. So that's pretty straightforward. As far as the cooldown options, um, we have static, dynamic, and individual. Um, if you go into the settings over here, it'll show you the cooldown here. So it's set to 5,000, which is, I believe, 5 seconds. You can change that to whatever you want. Um, general, your output device. Um, you can change this to whatever you want. Um, this is to clear your sound library, clear your profiles, clear all local data. This is for sharing your data for analytics. Um, then we can just go back to the soundboard. Also, there's an about, which you can go through. It's just pretty much the information, the version, stuff they've changed. And look, made with love for the community of Beam. Gotta have that Beam love. Okay, so back to settings. Um, sorry, back to soundboard. Okay, so 
Once we come back to here, also here's the reconnection options. You can auto reconnect and the timeout. Um, so what I did here was I just added a couple here just to show you. Um, also, just so you know, this is just a simple video to show you how to set it up. There might be other features like I'm not sure if this is to upload to the cloud or download or what it is. This just basically, I think, locks it. Um, so like I said, there might be other features that I don't know about. I was just giving you a simple how-to. So, all right. So once you get this done, then you want to just click Connect. Um, once it gets to where it says Disconnect, you want to go over to your page on Beam, and then it will show up here. Your whole board will show up. Um, when you're done with it, you can just simply go back here and click on disconnect and that's it guys so if you have any questions again make sure that you contact DKJ. Um, I will leave all the information in the description and have fun bye bye